Okay, welcome everyone to the presentation of the T35P, uh, which is our new innovation in the gasket heat exchangers. Uh, it's a size of M30 300 millimeter ports. Uh, it will be used in a central cooler, lube oil cooler, scrubber systems, and so on. The other product I have to present to you today is our Dare Alpha Nova. Uh, this is without any gaskets. As for those of you who are asking now, it's no copper either. But I'll start with the T35P. The T35P uh, is in two versions. It's in T, uh, uh, TS35, a shorter version, and a standard one, TS, T35P. It's assembled uh, like this. Uh, you hang in the plate in the five alignment systems, and one after the other. It's now then tightened with four service bolts pushed together to the correct uh, distance. And after that, you add on the other tightening bolts. Once that is done, it's ready for operation. In operation, of course, fluids is entering into the hole and then comes out to, uh, to the distribution area, evenly distributed over the heat transfer area, where actually 90% of the heat transfer takes place. So that's, uh, that's uh, the T35. But what's new with the T35? Maybe some of you have noticed a few things from this movie. But I'll go through it. Uh, there are mainly three areas that have been developed. It's improved plate design. It's uh, Alpha Laval grip gaskets, which is a clip-on gasket. So that's easy mounting. Uh, compared to a glued one, of course, it's also a lot easier to maintenance. The third area is the frame design, which has an optimized thickness of the pressure and frame plate. Also, the roller system for hanging the pressure plate is completely new, and the feet. Everything to have an easy maintenance for the product when it uh, has to be serviced. Now, I will go a little bit deeper into the plate configuration or plate uh, design. Uh, as you can see on the picture, you know, it's nothing wrong with the picture. It's not stretched. You didn't have too many beers yesterday. Basically, the hole is not round anymore. It's basically a triangle hole, optimizing an, an even distributed flow of the media. After that, it comes to the second area, which is the distribution zone. Also, this new developed and finally, the plate pattern in the heat transfer area, all securing an uh, even distribution of the fluid. Now, why is then the even distribution of the fluid so, so important? On the right-hand side here, you see a conventional heat exchanger. The red area is where you have the most of the flow, and thus the highest turbulence and the best heat transfer. The more to the edge that you come, the less flow rate it is, and the less efficient is the heat exchanger in this area. So actually what you want is that you want a big red area. And that's what we have succeeded to do in the left-hand picture here on the T35, that we have extended with the help from the port design, the distribution design, and the heat transfer area. So why is efficiency then so important? Well, efficiency is important because this with a high efficient plate, you could solve the duty with less plates. You could use this as a lower investment cost when you purchase the, the heat exchanger, or you could utilize it when, uh, for a lower running cost, uh, savings up to 20% in pump and electricity power. On top of that, of course, you also save 20% on the lower fuel uh, uh, emissions. So, T35 is ready, it's out for sale, you could buy any time from me. Uh, but of course, you will first want to hear about the Alpha Nova. Uh, the Alpha Nova is basically used when you can't use the gasketed heat exchanger in terms of temperature, pressure, or medias. It has a very uh, wide range of temperature, uh, so it's really a demanding application. One of these applications is the LPG reliquification system. Now, Alpha Laval is no newcomer into these applications. Uh, we have been around since 1996 with uh, Alpharex. 
Uh, one of the ship owners that's gone for the, for the Alpha Rex is Laurison. Laurison also was the first one to purchase an Alpha Nova M400. And why did they do that? Well, they did that in order to have higher capacity and also a lower running cost compared to a high efficient Alpha Rex. Now, such a reliquification system looks like this. You have a cargo tank down below that you can't see. Uh, you have a boil off in the cargo tank that you need to reliquify back to the tank. You do that by compressing the gas in the compressor, then you condense it in the cargo condenser. Now, almost all cargo condensers on the market today, you use seawater directly to, to condensate as a cooling medium. You see, in, in our here, we have an intermediate circuit introduced. That means that the intermediate circuit is cooled by a plate uh, heat exchanges with a gasket type. So, what's the advantage of using this system? Well, first is safety. If you do have a leakage in the car condenser, if you have a direct working condenser, well, the gas will leak over to the seawater side and out on the harbor or out in the ocean. You will not detect it. In an indirect system, you will detect it immediately in the gas detector in the intermediate circuit. Now, Next one is energy savings. Since the Alpha Nova is by far the most efficient one, you, you could save that on, on running cost on the compressor, having a lower uh, condensing pressure. Next one is compactness. As you see, we don't have any thick plates or, or uh, any tightening bolts. It can't be more compact than the Alpha Nova. Last but not the least is ease of maintenance. Of course, when you have seawater entering any heat exchanger, you have to make sure that you can clean it. Um, and in, a, in direct working, you have to have a SIP or an AL filter or whatever to make sure that you keep up the efficiency uh, in the system. Whereas in an in indirect working system, you have full access to the, play, to the gasketed seawater cooler. Shortly about the product is that the temperature range from minus 196 up to 550, you know, you cover most of the applications with that. 28 bar, it's all 100% stainless steel, no copper, which means that we could handle media as ammonia as well. Of course, this is delivered then with a marine ins uh, inspection. But even if this is good, it's just one seventh of good. The reason for that is that we have a full family of Alpha Nova uh, and CBM, which is a copper braced uh, product, from sizing from CBM 400 to in 100 millimeter ports, uh, down to a smaller CBM 30 and 25 millimeter. Thank you for listening. That was uh, all from my, me. Uh, you could uh, ask questions then later on today here in the booth. Thank you very much.